Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and if you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing. And today I've got something a little bit different. No cycling today, but don't worry, cycling will be back in the next video. So let's do this thing. So I don't know if you guys have got any of these uh, pool cleaners. This is one by Zodiac. And uh, you get them in the M6 and M8. I don't know if there's another model. As you can see, this one's quite old. It's had uh, seen better days. But the swivel connect at the top here breaks. And if that breaks, you need to replace the whole lid to be able to fix it. So as opposed to doing that, I've uh, printed out or made a little... Uh, adapter that'll go on the top here and let's see how that fits on. I've also uploaded the design to uh, Thingiverse where you can uh, download it. I'll leave a link to this uh, part in the description below where then you can uh, download it and print it out yourself. So once the part has been printed out it's going to look like this. Obviously I use supports to print this out so this all has to be cleaned out. And I don't suggest uh, putting supports on this part of the actual part over here. It's very difficult to clean up. And this is printed with uh, PLA uh, 1.75. And once it's cleaned up, I've got another part over here which I've cleaned up already. It's going to look like this. And the best way to clean this up, or this section, is to take a file and just to work around this whole edge over here all the way around to make sure that that is as sharp as possible so that when you clip the actual hose connector on it it makes a proper connection to that part of the connector. So that's what it's going to look like. Then if we actually look at the actual pool cleaner itself it's got a little plastic uh, ring here that's got to be in the middle over there. That's got to go in first then this goes on next and this, as you can see, doesn't just go down. You've got to actually physically put a bit of pressure on here. There we go, clips in. And as you can see, if I go back to the part itself, I've got two parts here that I've cut away. And that will allow the actual part to move a little bit in and out when it actually makes its connection. Once it's made the connection on there, it's a pretty strong connection. It's not going to come off again. And then your pool cleaner is ready to go. So guys, thanks for watching and I uh, hope this little modification or this little part will actually help you get your uh, pool cleaner back in the pool and cleaning stuff. And uh, if you have any suggestions for me at the bottom, what I can do to improve it, please let me know. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.